It's a power. Apollo, yeah, that mother too cold. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and jump right into this haircut tutorial. Right here, I'm using a number one guard lever all the way closed. We're gonna go up midway to the top of his head. What you saw in the beginning of this video is me doing a number two on top, but I'm gonna blend the number one guard into the, the number two. Guys, this is the GOAT himself, s -Craft Blends, man. If y'all not following him on YouTube or Instagram, s -Craft Blends with a Z. Dude is a freaking hidden giant. He has been cutting hair for over two decades and he's still making his his, his mark on the industry. Um, again, if you're not following him, man, he's he's a beast. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a great opportunity to cut his hair. He finally came through Stay Gifted Sweet, got a haircut by your boy. He actually blessed me for my anniversary, so I decided to return a favor. I told him, come through the suite, get the experience, and and the end result is is what it is man like I, I just i feel like i'm more in my element i feel like i got you know better lighting in my in my studio i just feel more i feel my potential is there i'm working to my fullest potential um and i just feel like whenever you step out of your comfort zone things just fall into place you know what i mean like this was a blessing in disguise covid COVID was a blessing in disguise for me to actually venture out and, and, and go into business for myself. And obviously, again, guys, don't do this if you don't have the clientele for it. I'm very fortunate that I'm, I'm booked out um, and only working three days now. It, it's even crazier. So, but with I don't want to get off subject again, guys, I'm in my bag. Let's get back to this tutorial. Um, again, a number one on the sides, we're going to take it pretty high. After you do the number one with the lever closed, you put it in the middle, put it all the way open. And then what I like to do is I'll take my one and a half guard and blend that right into the number two. It's a power. What you do to one side, you're going to do to the other. Again, taking that number one pretty high up. We're going to do a high skin taper on the sides and a high skin taper on the back. We're gonna line up his beard, shape it up, add some color, line him up. We're gonna get him crispy. Just a, a blurry, blurry, blurry taper. If you follow me on Instagram, you already seen the cut, but this is basically the making of it behind the scenes. <clears throat> and we're gonna try to make it uh, this a, a, uh, a normal thing, man, to get haircuts. He takes care of me, I take care of him, and we look like we are barbers. <laughs> now, it's hard for barbers to get haircuts, but we got to make time for ourselves, man. We got to groom ourselves and be be a product of our environment, honestly. But you know what? A good barber doesn't have a haircut. <laughs> a busy barber doesn't have a good haircut. Not a good barber. A busy barber doesn't have a haircut. we're gonna go ahead and start the taper on the back again we're gonna do a skin taper on the back and the sides going up about an inch using my rose gold skeleton babyliss trimmers and of course my gammas I love the <coughs> excuse me I love these uh, clippers y'all they cut so clean so close you hear the hair cut the hair feeds right into that blade these used to be, actually, these used to be S Crab Blends. They used to be Shannon's. And I actually bought them from him. He put a blade on there, set them real nice, real close so they can cut. So I, I, I love these, these clippers. I, I honestly rarely pick up my seniors anymore. And, and it sucks to say that, but man, I, I love these clippers. Gamma, Gamma got a good one for sure. Look how that 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 
that guideline is coming out and that was just the lever open all the way to the lever closed you have it all the way open put it in the middle and then close it being that this is number one on the sides we're going to go ahead and use my half guard or your 116 guard depending on what system you're using these take the wall premium guard so that's what i'm using on these clippers and this is my half guard and that's going to blend right into the number one <coughs> But yeah, guys, I want to say thank you for everyone that that uh, on my last video, they saw it. They saw the intro. It was my anniversary. We celebrated seven years of marriage. I appreciate that. All the love, all the support. <clears throat> we had a blast. Back to the grind. Back to the grind. Notice how that, that half guard is blending right into that number one. And again, it, it's a high taper, so we're going to feed that right into... No, that super the bone area. And his hair is not easy to cut. He has two different tones. Um, it, 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 and it's kind of like real, like almost like not Brillo pad, but it's pretty thick hair. And you got to make sure that you cut in different directions. That way it can look blended, especially into the, the two tone. Like. <clears throat> You just gotta feed that hair into that guard or that that blade in different directions and you can find yourself cutting with a lower guard or no guard in different areas to make sure you have a nice blend notice how I'm stretching the skin with the opposite hand so I can get into those small little crevices and creases so yeah again if y'all don't know who s crab blends is Dude's been cutting hair over 25 years. Um, he's a, a barber at Headlines. Um, I worked beside him for three, almost four years until I moved to my suite. Um, he pastured me. He baptized me. Um, he became a family friend, a, a brother, a mentor. And it's just, it's crazy, man. Like, I, I appreciate him, you know, being in, our, in my life. Him and his family, his, his kids, his wife, my wife works where his wife works at. It's crazy how God works and how God puts people in your lives. But definitely it's a, a blessing to have him in our lives. But notice how I'm cutting in different directions like I stated uh, earlier. Uh, you see me turning my clipper in different, different angles because I'm trying to feed that hair into that guard or into that blade rather to cut it down evenly and again it's going to be high taper so you're going to see me fading behind his ear and like, like as so right there so i took the guard kind of right behind his ear <clears throat> i believe this is my number one guard just trying to make sure that Everything is blending in together. Now I have no guard on there, lever all the way open, trying to bring this taper together, favoring a lot of the left side of that blade. Going with the grain to try to get those hairs cut down evenly. Whenever I posted his haircut on Instagram, I put on the caption, if he had the opportunity to cut his hair, would you be nervous? A lot of the people that commented said they would, but it would be an honor. Um, or some of them just said, hell yeah, it would. <laughs> but they would love to cut his hair. I mean, the conversation that, that we have, man, is, is dope. It's dope. Every time I cut his hair, I feel like our conversations just, they might be all over the place, man, but it's about life, family, you know, what's going on with him, what's going on with me, our goals, what we want to do in the future, what, what he has planned, what I have planned, what God has planned. So, it's always dope. I'll probably take anywhere about an hour and a half to two hours cutting his hair. <laughs> along with recording the tutorial all right so now we're gonna line it up 
bring this haircut to life. <clears throat> We're gonna line up the neck right behind the beard line. That white mark on my knuckle is paint. We're actually remodeling our townhome. Painting inside. It takes forever for that paint to come off. <laughs> the only reason why I say that is because I know someone's gonna ask about it. What is that white mark on his knuckle? They always pay attention to the wrong thing. Cleaning out his ears. That's one thing that his wife, uh, Nikki, always, he always tells me that Nikki always tells him that, uh, tell Matt I said thank you for getting those ear hairs. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to line him up. He has like that natural kind of horseshoe uh, type of lineup. It's not really straight across, so you don't want to cut against it or you know try to make it super straight um you can make his lineup look clean it, it just make sure you keep it natural you know go with that natural curve <clears throat> i'm not gonna put the enhancements in there y'all know how it works man use that that sean cuts hair template card and apply that color enhancement and make everything pop And on his beard, he stated to me that he wants to have it kind of like a sharper edge. He doesn't want it to kind of curve. He wants to have it more of a sharper, like a 90 degree look to it. So right here, I had him blow out some air so you can get a closer shave on his cheek line. And then I'm going to use a shaver to kind of go against the grain with it to knock it down even closer. And then again, guys, you're not going to see it, but I, I put the in color enhancement. My boy feeling himself. <laughs> right here, I already picked out his beard. I already applied a little bit of the color. And now we're just freehanding his beard, shaping it up. That nice, nice shape to it. And it's just gonna bring the haircut and his beard to life. So this is pretty much the cut, man. High taper on the sides with a number one on the sides. Taper on the back, number two on top color enhancement beard shape up beard line up a great friend a great mentor dude is a hidden giant in the freaking barber industry and this is the finished product guys blurry that boy clean if you are not yet subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button like share comment this let's, let's keep growing man let's keep growing and as always team gifted stay gifted